joined on the dais today by Ryan Nemhard, Graham E.K., and Ant Anton Watson. And we'll open up questions for our student athletes. Uh, Jim Prim, the spokesman review for Anton and Graham. Uh, can you talk about the clash of styles? You guys seem to have the three bigs, and they're more guard oriented, and uh, the importance of trying to take advantage of it from from your guys' end at both ends. Yeah, uh, I think that's just been a big focus in our practice of, uh, you know, for me and Graham just being physical inside and. Um, you know, just getting to our post moves quick. Um, they're probably going to try to throw some doubles at us or something. But, um, yeah, it's two different styles of play. They play a lot of guards and, you know, a lot of dribble drives. So uh, me and Graham are probably going to have to guard a lot of guards and, you know, uh, play good defense. So um, I think it'll be a fun game. Yeah, just going off that, um, we're just going to have to be physical, um, assert our will. Um, we know the doubles will come probably from the baseline side. So just making the right read, taking care of the ball. And I'm um, not getting in too much of an up and down pace. Uh, Theo Lawson with the spokesman of your Ryan, kind of along the same lines about their guards. They bring a lot of pressure, force a lot of turnovers. What, what have you seen on film the last few days, and what's kind of the key in that matchup? Uh, yeah, like you said, uh, they like to force turnovers. So obviously, we just got to take care of the ball, um, not make risky passes, and just be 100% with, with the plays we're making. And then we, we saw that they like to switch a lot. so. Just be patient with our offense, um, take the right shots, and try and just take care of the ball. So, yeah. John Kuhn, Associated Press. Uh, a little over a month ago, you guys were going into the game against Kentucky, considered a bubble team, and people were questioning, is Gonzaga going to make the tournament? Now, fast forward a month later, you're a five seed back in Salt Lake City. I mean, what, what's kind of that journey been like? What, when did things really kind of click this season and you guys kind of got back to the Gonzaga way of, of success? We'll have Ryan open up that answer. Uh, I think it's just been a process all year. You know, we had a bunch of new guys um, that, that came to the program, a bunch of new guys that had to learn the system, and it, it just took a while for us to, to figure it out. I think Kentucky was a big turning point for us uh, where it just all came together and we finished out the game. Finally, um, and um, I think everything then has been it's been pretty smooth, and uh, we're just our camaraderie and our chemistry is at a high level right now, and uh, we look forward to that taking that into the tournament and and uh, two big games this weekend, hopefully. Graham, Anton. Um, yeah, the journey's been pretty fun uh, with these guys and the staff and all. Um, we kind of knew like. Early on, it'd be some rough patches just with everybody being so new, having different roles. But we always stayed positive. It was like, you know, it's going to work itself out. And it did. Um, Kentucky was definitely a big turning point in that. And um, ever since then, you know, we've been skyrocketing. Yeah, no, kind of what they said. Um, <clears throat> it just took a while for us to really start clicking and, you know, figuring each other out, how we play with each other. And I think that Kentucky game gave us a lot of confidence and momentum going forward. And um, yeah, we just want to use that going into the tournament. Right here. Uh, Alex Behar with the Salt Lake Tribune. Um, you know, you guys have a, a teammate in Nolan who played high school ball here, I mean, like two hours from this specific place, but in the state. Um, you know, first off, like, what has kind of his mood been like in anticipation of coming back here? And also, what has he meant uh, to you guys' team and to your success this season? Yeah, um, I think first, obviously, it's probably just nice for him to get back in town and uh, play in front of probably some people that he knows. Um, but I think he's just excited to be back in the tournament with, with a good group of guys and hopefully looking forward to getting two dubs. And then, sorry, what was the second part of your question? Yeah, um, he's been huge for us. I mean, I think he's been he's been great for us this year. Um, he's been super consistent, knocking down a three ball and just just doing whatever we need to do to win. And um, I feel like through ups and downs this year, he stayed consistent and um, always that next play mentality. And he's he's just been a huge part of our team. Yeah. Um, to second that, uh, he has been a huge part of our team. He's been playing so many minutes, um, and just to see the level that he's playing at, it's amazing. Honestly, uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really talked to him about how it feels about coming back here. Um, we've had a couple talks about him playing at Wasatch and what that was like. Um, so it would probably be enjoyable for him to be back here. Yeah. Um, 
I would just say Nolan's been a good leader this year, um, especially from seeing him the last two years I played with him, you know, just the way he stepped up and the way he's fought adversity. I think he's done, like, the best job I've ever seen him do um, this year. So, yeah, I'm proud of him. And, um, no, I, I think he's happy to be back in Utah, especially since we're in the tournament. So, you know, you can't complain about that. Uh, for Ryan, you guys are run up against All-American guards. Uh, a lot of good guards along the way. What, what do you make of uh, Wells's game and uh, kind of his his style, how he uh, puts up the points and and uh, all the all the stats he does? Yeah, um, <clears throat> obviously he's he's a really good player. Uh, we watched a bunch of film on us on him. Coaches uh, gave us a lot of film, and he's he's playing at a really high level right now, shooting the ball well, gets to the rim, scores at the rim. So he'll he'll be a tough cover for us, but. Um, I think we have a pretty solid plan, and we're going to go in there confident like we always are. We played against good guards all year, and um, we have a, a good bunch of guards over here. So we take our guards over theirs. OK, we have a couple of participants here on Zoom. Uh, we'll give them an opportunity to uh, uh, take part if they'd like. If you have any questions for our student athletes, please use the raise hand button on your Zoom. Uh, window. We'll see about getting you on.